Hello. Congressman uh, McCarthy, it's a privilege to be here. I'm here at the invitation of the Tea Party. I'm not from Bakersfield. And you guys got good recruits. Where are you from? <laughs> I'm actually from Lamore, California. However, the reason why I'm here is to bring to everybody's attention some serious pending problems that are going to arrive here in about three weeks. I'm glad that you talk about long-term strategy. I'm glad that you realize that immediate action, physical action, needs to be taken. I'm with a group called Citizens for California High Speed Rail Accountability. We were created specifically because of ag land issues in Kings County. We looked around, we realized that this whole project, which is a state project, so the question is, where do you come in? <laughs> had creeped in after 2008. In 2008, the voters of California voted for Proposition 1A. The voters of California, and you're going, this is a state proposition, why is he talking about for it? For $9 billion. The state of California was going to borrow $9.95 billion. They were promised that the federal government would kick in a third of $33 billion, and private investors would hop up and build the rent, provide the rest. And in this, in this view of utopia, <laughs> for $33 billion, an 800-mile high-speed track would be created that would clean the air, <laughs> create jobs, okay, eliminate traffic, and prevent us from building roads. And it was a marvelous idea. By the way, I didn't vote for it, and Kings County didn't, as, as a county, didn't vote for it. But it passed, barely. Immediately, that contract with the public changed to, somehow, a, I believe $43 billion, like within a year. 66 this, now. This project was going to go down major transportation corridors as it solved all of our problems, like perhaps 99 or I-5. I was shocked to realize, after, I didn't pay attention to it, but I was shocked about a year ago that it was going through Kings County. And it didn't make sense to me. We're not a major transportation corridor, and when I looked at that, it makes sense to me that this thing cost $10 billion more than everybody could have done. So, I later found out that the federal government did not kick in a third, which, thank you, I'm glad you didn't. <laughs> okay, and private enterprise was non-existent. So I attempted to work with the High Speed Rail Authority, and my county elected officials attempted to work with the High Speed Rail Authority, and other ag interests attempted to work with the High Speed Rail Authority. And as we did this, we discovered people did not know that this is happening. It's happening right now. There's an environmental impact report, draft environmental impact report, that has a sunset deadline for public comment of October 13th of this year, getting into the immediate problem. We looked at the situation and in our little small sphere of mindset that we have, we were looking at, well, Kings County, we'll stop it here. We, we do not agree with this and they did not consult us properly. They have not advised 569 property owners in Kings County that properly that this is occurring, so it makes it hard for them to comment on this environmental impact report, which happens to be 30,000 pages long. Oh. Okay, why am I here? I, we, we all got together and we thought about, well, okay, let's look up and down the track. We'll stop it here, but what do people in Bakersfield know? You know what I found out two weeks ago? Most of you don't know that on October 13th, you will never be able to comment officially mm -hmm. on this project again. Yeah, sure, we can talk and we can talk to politicians, but, yeah. but not influence the project. They have not told people here in Kern County. They have not made an effective effort to notify people. And they have known your individual properties and your neighbor's individual properties for probably almost a year, probably as of October of last year. They have known your parcel number. They have known your address. They know your name. But you have never received anything from them except maybe, can we come around and look around? Maybe a letter like that. So here we are. We come down to Bakersfield a few
few weeks ago, and we talked to people, and nobody knew about it. We came here uh, Thursday, this past Thursday, to comment during this comment period. Nobody knew. People weren't there. Some people were there, and the Tea Party showed up and, uh, well, protested outside, and I really appreciate you guys coming. But the people of Kern County and the people of Kings County need six months to review this 30,000-page environmental impact report. The way they did it, they had it in two different reports, so you can't see it. Now, one of my jobs as your elected official, because you can't know about all this. You know what I did last week? I sent him a letter to extend the um, time frame, and I got Devin Nunes to sign it, and uh, Jeff Denham, all in the valley. And, Congressman, I appreciate you doing that, but you didn't ask for enough. Well, I went, I went to a few Dems, because I tried to make it uh, bipartisan, and they declined. Okay, we don't, we don't need another 30 days for a total of 90 days. We need six months, and six months is reasonable because the previous draft uh, program, program, programmatic environmental impact report. I'll, glad, I'll okay, gladly ask for more. Was whatever what, time we need was given six months when the project was less detailed. So, okay, number one, we need your immediate help to allow people to be notified because if the High Speed Rail Authority, with the backing of the Federal Railroad Administration. Mm -hmm which is a federal agency, if they're not going to notify people, then we need to notify people so people can make a reasonable effort to Im review the impacts and comment. That's number one. Number two, the Federal Rail Administration and the California High Speed Rail Authority, Authority okay, are not working in good faith with local elected officials. That is in violation of the National Environmental Protection Act, NEPA. It is in violation of that, and it's certainly not in the spirit of it. The Federal Rail Administration refused to meet with Kings County government last week. They are a federal agency. They are compelled by law also. And even if they weren't, it's just a darn good idea to consult the local, the local people. Especially I want to build through it. So now, we need you to leverage them to meet with our local officials here in Kern County and in Kings County to work with the local people to, to either kill this project, which is not funded, okay, or to construct it properly, which I don't believe it can be constructed properly. So all of that said, those are two things. Number three, and this is the last one I'm going to ask you, and I see you smiling, because <laughs> I just told you to go to war. Well, I, apparently you don't know my position on high-speed rail. That's why, I, that's why I smile. Well, well, actually, I think I do. But okay, I need you directed and focused, and so does everybody else here need you directed and focused. I believe that there's right plus or minus $4 billion of arrow money that the federal, the federal government has committed to this rail project. Politicians are just, you know, wanting to hang on to that money to do something here. You know, it, it, it's, it's serious to them. You know what? And I think maybe you were part of uh, Congressman Nunes's attempt to put that into Highway 99 or something. That's our bill. We like that. Yeah. Okay. But you know what I like better? Even better than that? Other Americans, other people who are citizens of the United States this year have been affected by hurricanes, and tornadoes, and floods. This is just me. I would rather somebody who has their road wiped out by a natural disaster get their road repaired than Highway 99. <laughs> All right, you raised out a lot of things. Can I answer that? First and foremost, let me tell you my principle. I don't think the federal government should invest in the high-speed rail. Uh, I think I was the first elected official to come out against it. Got criticized by a lot of people. You know where I made my decision? A lot of people said, that high-speed rail, you only do it in Europe. We should do it too. So I said, and I went and studied. Most of them have to have three million population. Europe is very old, so it's more concentrated. 
So I said, well, would it, would it work through here? And I said, let, let me look at your business plan because we're already subsidized Amtrak by a billion dollars a year. Well, one, is the bond enough to build it? No. Have they even put the bond out? No. They look for the federal government to pay for it. So the business plan says millions of riders in the Central Valley per year. There's less than 750,000 people that take the plane or train in the Central Valley from one point or the other. So you're gonna to have to subsidize it. Okay, what position is California in? Do they got a big surplus to subsidize it? No. They say it's only gonna cost a certain amount. Each time they look at it, it goes up higher. They just got a new report, it's over 66. 66 billion is not gonna build this. Just think from the environmental when they get there. They've got a short time frame to spend the money that the feds gave it before. If you watch what we have done, we've cut the money from it. Now you lay out three good points, I have no, no problem with doing that. I put 30 days in and if you look and you talk to your cities, I work very closely with them. Because you can see the cities, what they came through and the city worked from the very beginning in Bakersfield, and what they said they would do and what the city laid out that they would need, they totally ignored. They want to wipe out VHS, they want to do the other. Will the riders even be there? I don't think, and I believe you should invest your money because it's so precious and you don't have enough of it with the greatest need. I don't believe high-speed rail is there and I don't think federal government should give it any more money. That's my position. Congressman, I just want to say I want you to fight to get this project completely canceled and wiped out. It's a big, it's a big travesty. It needs to be killed. You will not find a bigger champion of that position.